Hi, my name is Justin. Uh, I work at Rendell's uh, Certified Cleaning Services. And here we have what many people refer to as a shag rug or frise. Been cleaning this one for the past about few days here. Um, most of my time has actually been spent trying to remove all the dry soil out of it. Shag rugs are super popular right now. They are probably one of my most common rugs that I see. Uh, they are one of the cheaper rugs, uh, more affordable rugs, and people love them because look at that. They're plush, they're soft, they feel nice in between your toes. It's awesome, but it's not awesome to clean. That's the problem. These fibers are so long that it literally traps anything and everything all the way to the backing. So if there's a little piece of dirt down there, all of this is going to help hold it in even with a vacuum. I got a pretty strong vacuum that has pretty good suction. Uh, sucks real good, as we like to say. Um, but it's still not enough to bypass every single one of these fibers and get suck out the backing of what's in there. And there are so many things that we find in shag rugs. Many times we have to shake them, uh, flip them upside down on their back, and vacuum them on the back side to cause it to vibrate and slowly shake out um, any type of uh, foreign objects or materials that might be stuck in here. Um, I always find change and I, I don't know if there's a single shag rug that I have cleaned that I have not found a penny or a dime or a nickel, some kind of change in it. Uh, very commonly I find sewing pin needles in there and it amazes me that no one managed to step on it, but luckily the fibers are so long and thick that it, once the needle gets down there, it buries it enough that good chance that you might not step on, but you still, but these things hold on to everything. Um, so most of my time with these are spent just removing all the dry soil. And this particular rug, um, I probably got an entire quart of dirt out of it. Um, and you would never have guessed that just by looking at the rug. Um, so after we're done doing the dry extraction, um, the type of material that this is made out of likes to attract oils. Uh, so like I was saying earlier, these feel great on your feet and bare feet have skin oils. So walking on it, rubbing your feet in it, uh, all it's doing is attracting your oils from your feet onto the rug and then the oils attract dirt and help the dirt stick in place. So a lot of times with these rugs after I'm done doing the dry soil extraction, uh, I usually have to use a oil uh, emulsifier on it um, to essentially loosen up the dirt and all that extra stuff even more that the oils are holding on to. Um, so after we do that, we extract it out really good front and back and then, uh, and then we speed dry it. Um, so these ones are definitely a little bit more challenging to clean, but they're definitely one of the more popular rugs, uh, that we get.